Hi everyone, welcome to my Autodesk screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for a Repro Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I am an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencasts, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at the project browser, how it functions, and how to customize it. Here I am in Revit 2016. On the project browser on the left-hand side, this displays all the views that are within your uh, Revit model. You can double-click any view that you want. It will take you to those views, like so. And basically what's happening is that it's taking the view that you are working with, uh, that you're double-clicking, and making it the current view and displaying it in the very, very front. If I go to the View tab of the ribbon, and go to the Windows panel, if I click Cascade, you can see all the views that are behind it. And what's actually happening is that Revit has to process all these views that are behind it, and it makes your computer run a little slower. You may or may not have heard my fan for my laptop kick in just now. <clears throat> if I click Close Hidden, all of those views will go away that are behind it, and it'll just make your software run a little faster and your computer run a little faster. So that's the functionality of the project browser. To customize it, we can right click it and go to browser organization. In here it lists some uh, view sheet setups, uh, if you will, and they give you all discipline, not on sheets, phase, and type discipline set up as a default. <clears throat> if I click discipline and hit apply, if you take a look at the project browser, you'll see what happens. It changes and organizes the views based upon discipline. <clears throat> so for example, architectural and coordination. If I switch it to not on sheets and hit apply, it'll display the views that are not on a sheet. If I go by phase, it'll set that up as well. If I go with type discipline, <coughs> it'll switch the view by type and discipline. If I go to sheets tab, I can also say give me all my sheets or the ones that are drawn by or the ones that are issued by or the ones that are have a sheet prefix. Uh, a lot of people will do sheet prefix because they'll set up uh, different sheets for different disciplines and all under one Revit model. So you'll say A for architectural, S for structural, uh, so on and so forth. Now, if you need to, you can actually make your own. So for example, here under the views, I can click new and give it a name. So I'm gonna call it something. I hit okay. And in here, I can filter the information if I need to and sort and group it however I need to. So let's say I want to sort it by uh, sheet name and then, uh, well, let's do sheet number first and then sheet name. And then we'll buy, say, view scale and maybe discipline. <clears throat> uh, we won't filter any data, so I'll just hit OK. And now there's one that's called test. If I check and hit apply, everything is now set up based upon that view setting. Under Sheets, again, I can also click New here as well, call it whatever I want, hit OK, and then I can filter or group as well, whatever I need. So let's just say Sheet Name and Sheet uh, Number, and we'll filter by uh, Sheet Name, Schematic Drawings, hit OK, put a check mark here and hit Apply, and now the information only shows up how we want it to show up. If we need to get back to how things were before and get rid of what we created, click All, hit Apply, go to Sheets, click All, hit Apply, hit OK. <clears throat> Once you've done that, now you can go back to Browser Organization. If you check the one that you made, you can click to try to click Delete, and this is kind of strange. Sometimes it says it can't delete it because it thinks it's still the same one. So I'm going to cancel it. Right click it, go to back to browser organization, make sure both of these are set to all. Get out of my Revit project. <clears throat> and then come back into the project. And the reason this is taking a while is because if you take a look at all these views, they're all set to a customized display representation for each of the views, which is high-end rendering 
Um, so it has to process all that data. <clears throat> so let me go back to opening up that Revit model again. And we'll go back to browser organization. And now you'll see that that's gone. And under the sheets, they're gone as well. And that's it. That's how you set up and work with the project browser and how to customize it. Thanks for watching my screencast, and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.